Hi, this is Geert Jan from the NetBeans team. In this screencast, you're going to see why NetBeans is a great environment for working with HTML files. Here we have a very simple HTML file. It has a title element. It also has an H1 element. The title element says car sales. The H1 element says buy our nice cars. We click on the green play button. The Chrome browser starts up and displays our text by our nice cards. We switch back to NetBeans and we see we also have here a CSS file that specifies that the H1 element should be displayed in red. So let's include that inside of our HTML file. We can just drag it and drop it and save it. And then we run the website again and we see our display text in red. Now we also have a image car jpg. Again we could type that in the same way as we could have typed the CSS element but again we can drag it and we can drop it and we can save it we can go back to the browser and we can refresh the browser and we see our image. Some other nice things are that we can press control space here inside the source attribute and then we can see that if we had more images here we could have included a different image here quite easily and similarly the href attribute also lets us use code completion to access whichever of the items in our website we want to add here. However the browser and the IDE are completely separate right now. Every time we make a change we go back to our browser and we refresh the browser by pressing F5 and then the browser updates with what we have changed inside the IDE. We're going to change that now. If I go to the settings tab of the Chrome browser and to extensions, I see I have various extensions included here, but not the extension that I would like. And that extension is the NetBeans connector. So I type here NetBeans. I find the NetBeans connector and you can click here and find information about it and read some very nice reviews from hundreds of people. You can see that over 200,000 users out there in the world are making use of this particular plugin. And we say free here and we say add and then this plugin is added into the Chrome browser. If I go back to the extensions and I'll see that the NetBeans connector has been added. What that means is that now instead of simply pressing the green play button we first need to switch and instead of using plain normal Chrome we're going to now say Chrome with NetBeans connector. And now we run the application again and we can see that NetBeans connector is debugging this tab. We can also see a special new icon in the top of the Chrome browser, a NetBeans icon. And you can see that we can switch the resolution. So let's imagine that we're creating this for smartphones in portrait mode. This is what you would see if you were to display this page on your mobile phone in portrait mode. It's also convenient for the small demo because we're going to want to see both of these at the same time to get the full effect. So here you can see we have the browser and next to the browser we have NetBeans. Now there is now a connection between the browser and NetBeans. First of all you can see here the CSS styles window, you see a network monitor at the bottom, you see the browser DOM in the bottom left. We switch now to inspect in NetBeans mode. What we can also do is right click in the browser and start inspect in NetBeans mode. Control shift s Now what happens, you can see that as I move my mouse, different elements in the browser are highlighted, but also notice what happens in the bottom left of the IDE. In the browser DOM, I can hover over items that you can see here in the browser, and we can see the relevant elements in this DOM view. From here we can jump into the source. So there's the car. You can see here in the editor 
The car is now highlighted. When I select the H1 and I go to the source, you can see that the H1 is now highlighted. You can also see in the CSS styles window that the red that we have defined in the CSS style sheet is shown here and we can switch to something different and without refreshing the browser immediately it is updated. Similarly, click on the car, right click on the image and you can jump into the source. So the content of the browser is now integrated with NetBeans. Normally, of course, you would have many more images, you would have many more CSS style sheets, and finding what you see in the browser back in your development environment is quite a bit of work. You would have to figure out where is this blue found. And inside NetBeans, you can see where it is found, and we can jump into the source. And inside the source, we can also make a change. So control space to call up code completion, and we'll make it some different color and without refreshing the browser, and also without saving in the IDE, the browser is immediately updated. We look for the color that we want to have our H1 be, and also you can see here that all these browsers are supported um, by the particular color, the color that we want to work with, or with the color element, and immediately the browser is updated with the change that we've made. So this makes working with HTML, JavaScript, and CSS a lot simpler than it would normally be, thanks to the integration between the Chrome browser and NetBeans. We haven't here in this context seen the JavaScript debugger, which also lets you step through the JavaScript that you might have in your application. And something else is that you could also run the application onto your Android device or onto, the, uh, onto your iOS device. And then displayed within the Chrome browser, you'll be able to click on the items that you see in the browser with your, with your finger, with your thumb normally, which will then cause the H1 and the image to be highlighted from your mobile device. So the Chrome browser, either on your, on your laptop, on your computer, or on your mobile device, can be connected in this way directly to NetBeans, simply by installing the Chrome browser plugin for NetBeans into the Chrome browser. And with that, you have a very nice environment to create websites.